Hi, this is Georgia Foam Flies. Today we're going to be tying a balloon caddis, balloon elk hair caddis. Uh, this is a great fly, especially for uh, fishing rookies. So I'm going to start. Uh, I've got a number 12 tactical dry fly hook. I've got some yellow thread. I'm going to be using some yellow foam, two millimeter. This is the non-porous fly tying foam. I'm going to be using some beige deer hair, a brown piece of hackle, and just some gray dubbing. It's like some grayish green dubbing in here, right here, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to wrap the, the hook a little bit for the eye, give it that little bit after the eye, stay out of no man's land, give it a nice wrap all the way down. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to take the foam. Okay, the foam here, we're going to cut a wedge. So we're going to put the thickness of these scissors to nothing. Okay, then what I like to do here is I want to take this and put my finger on the edge right there so I can keep the foam on top. Leaning forward my thumb, walk my thumb right up. Keeps it on top. Okay, get for the hook where you want it. So you can still, there you go. Then tie it in nice and tight. All the way back. The whole time we're doing this fly, we're being mindful of that carrot shaped body. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to take a brown piece of hackle. Uh, this is going to be a little oversized, which is fine. We want to do that to, because we want to have the hackles kind of brushed off. So let me find a smaller one, but not too small. Let's trim the. Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm going to trim the fibers off here. It's kind of like a little Christmas tree. You look at it this way, I'm giving it the fibers to thread something to catch. Okay, just like when I walk the foam up, I'm going to kind of press on the hook right there. Oops, let me get those fibers out of the way. Here we go, here we go, okay. Now we wanna go about halfway, we wanna tie this in. Right about there, same thing, we're being mindful, thick to thin. this to unravel a little bit. So while this is while this is unraveling we're gonna get the dubbing ready. So what I like to do with the dubbing is I want a nice flat piece of dubbing. to take a piece of, take a little needle here, split this thread. You can't split the thread if it's too thin. That's all right, just do a dubbing loop. Or just, you know, you can just wrap the dubbing if you like. So I'm going to take this, run it right up, right in the center. About to there, and now I'm going to take it and spin it. Every once in a while, I'm picking it up. Okay, 
Okay, I'm not going to be using all this dubbing. Basically, what I'm going to do is start pulling it off. Trying to be trying to be conscious to pull it from thin, keeping it thick in the middle and thin on the thin on the ends. Okay, so I'm going to take it here, start wrapping it. Let's turn this over. So I'm going to get to the feather. Okay, once I get to the feather, I'm going to take this and get it out of the way. It's going off the shop, and I'm just hanging it over the vise. Uh, if you have a dubbing, if you have, a, I find it easier to hang it over here because I have a dubbing holder, but it just it gets in the way when I'm wrapping. So now I'm going to take this by hand. I'll, I'll use my, uh, i use this. I want to get this right where I stopped on the dubbing. Here we go, right next to it. Try not to overlap it. all the way and then what I like to do is just let it hang just let it hang right there I'm going to take this okay I'm going to bring it back up so I'm not working with so much thread I'm going to take this pull the hair back and put the dubbing right over top of it pulling the hair back pulling the hair back and it makes a nice mess. Okay, I'll flip this up. Always cut opposite side where the thread is. There you go. Mm -hmm. Got this nice. Good. Okay, so let's take our stacker. Uh, grab some beige deer hair. Just a little pinch of it, about that much. That might even be too much. I'd say, yeah, like that. Let's put it all in the stacker, hip side down. Good wax. Okay, so we bring this out. We wanna grab it, pull it, and we wanna pull any loose ones out. And I wanna grab it again I'm going to turn it around. Okay, I only want the tail to go a little bit past the body, or the wing to go a little bit past the body. So I'm going to kind of grab it right about here. Now when I wrap this, I'm wrapping it, and I'm going under between the hook and the, and the uh, deer hair. Then I can pull it down. Then I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to wrap it nice and tight. When I look, I've got that, I still got that a little bit too, well, I'll make that tail a little too long. Not too bad, yeah, let's, I wanna take this off. And, okay, so let's try this again, which is okay, because we really wanna get this wrap right. So we wanna take this, again, we only want it right about there. So we wanna take it, Pinch it with your finger so you're holding it. Wrap around, put it over the top, then wrap. Oh, that's even longer, so we don't want to do that. Okay, I'm concentrating too much on the wrap. And let's do this. Let's start all over. Get a little more in here this time. This is the thing when you're tying, if it's not, if it doesn't feel right, Undo it, do it again. Okay, so let's grab a bunch. Put it in the stacker. Right. 
I'm gonna pinch it here. Get any loose stuff off. Okay, I'm gonna do it here. Well, this time, right by where my fingers are. We just went a little bit past it. So I'm gonna do a wrap once. I'm gonna come underneath the deer hair, catch it up, wrap it again, and give it a wrap. Now I like that. Okay, we wanna make sure it stays on top. Okay, so what you can do is you can actually, if you wanna whip it in here to start with, that's fine. I do okay with just trimming it. So just come up the foam and flatten it off. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is take some Sally Hansen. Put a healthy amount right on that hair. Okay, this does a good job of holding it all in. Now you wanna make sure that all this stays on top. So we're gonna pull this around and hold it in. Grab everything and hold it with your finger, hold it on top. One, two, three. Keeping everything on nice and even on top. Now, again, if you want, you want to leave it now, leave it for a little while. Go away, come back, do something. But I mean, before you whip it in, if you want to let it dry, but uh, I'll go ahead and do it. Cause sometimes when you dry it, when you do it right now, before the Sally's dry, before the Sally Hansen's dry, it tends to uh, turn on you. So just be careful. Three of them on there, do that. Trim it off. I love this fly, it should last for a while. Okay. Just some bead cement or head cement. Let's call it bead cement. On each side. Trim off anything that don't belong. One of my favorite things about this fly is it's easy to spot and always keeps your eye clean. So it's an easy one to tie on. Okay, so there we go. The balloon caddis. Wrap him. All right, so from the top, it's a good looking fly. I trim anything out. Now's the time to do it. From the bottom, this has a really nice silhouette and nice wing. Okay, so things to remember on this fly is definitely. Get that extra wrap around the deer hair before you attach it to the body. And it'll keep it separated because you really don't want that deer hair to flow around it like you're tying a popper or something. And get those extra long brown hackles underneath there. And try and keep the whole thing so it's not too fat. So that's why I wrap the foam in like that because I'm not attaching the foam after. The foam's attached the whole time. So you got just a nice easy foam head for the head. Okay, I want to thank you for uh, watching. It's George with Fun with Flies. I hope you enjoyed this and have a good day.